hey, hey, welcome to another episode of Dave's Imagination. And today, today we're going to start a new series. We're going to start a new series. Uh, we're going to play through, we're going to play through uh, the game of Psy. The game of Psy is one of my favorite tabletop board games. Um, and Steam has a, a really nice, a really nice uh, copy, a version of it uh, that you can play electronically through the, through a Steam account. And uh, I have had it, I've played it, and I've been playing it for probably over a year. Uh, and one of the cool things is they have these achievements. And uh, uh, the achievements that you can play and, and win in certain different ways. Uh, if I jump over to uh, Steam, I created a new account. I created a new account in Steam so that I could replay these achievements. And so that's my goal in this series. My goal in this series is to uh, play Scythe and complete all of the achievements again. And, and so uh, we'll see how we do. We'll see how long this takes. And so, so today I thought we'd start. Why don't we start by taking a look at the achievements. I have unlocked none of them. And so you can see here they're all, all locked. Right? And there's all sorts of different ways, all certain different ways you can get an achievement. And many, for the first few games, I will, I will, I won't have to do much of a focus to get specific achievements, as uh, I just you'll get them naturally. So so I will have to see how many of these we can get in the first first couple games, and uh, before they start getting difficult, and I have to start thinking about. Uh, targeting achievements. So we're just gonna go ahead and go back here and I'm just gonna start up the game. Uh, good play. And we're gonna play the side of digital edition. Now when I play this, when I play this, uh, I play uh, four random hard opponents. Well, it's me and three others. So so here we are in the game of the side. Beautiful, beautiful. You look gotta love the artwork. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just play. We're not gonna play online. I, I would play online, but the games when you play with re real people, they, they take forever. And I can usually play. I can usually play one of these games in about I don't know forty minutes. And so we're gonna go ahead and say new game. And so like I said, uh, bot hard one, two, and three random mats, random counters. I have turned off the band mat combos or turned on the band so that we won't play in those band combos. I do play with the promotional cards, and I do play with the Vader invaders from afar, and those two in particular. I think personally that I think they're pretty difficult. So let's go ahead and we're, let's go ahead and start this. See what I get. All right, Crimea, the yellow. It's in my opinion probably the easiest to play, and you know, knock on wood because you could still lose. Um, but in my opinion, the the structure bonus. Not the structure bonus, your special ability, faction ability. Once per turn, you may spend one combat card as if it were one resource. I think that is very powerful. Uh, now, uh, the structure bonus where you build your buildings next to encounters. Okay, that's not so bad. Let's look at the secret objectives. Control the factory at the end of your turn and have the highest power of any player. Mm -hmm. Ties are okay. That that's that's achievable. Uh, wolf among the she wolf among the sheep. Control a cherry with a, your character. Exactly one mech, exactly one worker, and at least five resources at the end of the turn. I find that if I ever want to go for that objective, um, I, I have to think about it. Right? Whereas the factory one, I sometimes get without even thinking about it. And then let's look who I got here. I have Polenia, Rusviet, Togawa, and Crimea. So I've got the purple on my right. It's going to be there. But uh, no black, so the, no one to my left. So let's take a look. We'll get the game started. Get the game started, and let's go ahead and see. Let this play. I, if I was planning not re recording it, I would probably click through this so I, and skip this part, and maybe I will in future videos. Um, but I kind of like to see the kind of nice video graphics here. They're very simple as it floats around, and then we get the board right. And I have I have the game set in in fast mode, uh, so that it goes around the turn. Quickly, so here let's take a, we take a look at our board here. I get extra gold. My gold is with uh, food, and I always try to do all of my uh, what's this enlistments. I, I always do my enlistments. I always do my max, and I usually do my upgrades. And then my last thing I try to do is my buildings. But sometimes that changes depending on on the rewards. 
so no coins, no coins for the, the mechs. So uh, being this one is particularly good because it starts out with a with a village. So I often am gonna go ahead and just grab the grab the uh, produce action here. Produce, produce, and we'll end our turn. Flips around. I don't pay attention too much to what my neighbors are doing until after I get out of my initial settlement here. So I, I've got that now. I always like to do uh, I need to get that card going. I need to do so when other people unless I get those cards. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get firm. We're gonna take the, the two food here and then we'll we'll do that bolster next turn and end turn. It flips around, we got Polonia. He's got his mech already. He's already got his encounter. That's a good start. And we're back to we are back to what are, what, what, am I, what are these guys called? The Crimea. We are we're back to the Crimea, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bolster, bolster, so we can get start getting those tickets. Confirm, and so we'll spend the food. We'll unlock the defensive cards. We'll go ahead and grab a couple of defensive cards and accept. And turn now. Things just got a little bit cheaper for me, right? And they're both. Uh, two power defensive cards, so we, I don't I feel bad using them. So what do I, I want to move now, I think, because I, I often only get two workers, or three workers, I often play with only three workers. Occasionally I'll do five, rarely I'll do uh, uh, all of them, um, but we'll see, it kind of depends on how the game goes and if I need that objective. Uh, so I think at that point we can end the turn. moved up. They've placed both their traps way back there. So, okay, I think we're going to do another produce. And you see, I probably should have moved, moved the guy over to the food, but it is what it is. And we'll end the turn. Next time I think I'll do a move. Next time, oh, I could get, I don't know, we're going to trade when we're going to get the trade and we're going to get that mech. And that way, when I do the move, I can I can get all the way to the encounter right away. So let's go ahead and trade. Confirm. We're gonna grab the, the two ore, the two steel, so that I can buy a mech. One, two, three, and four. Ah, ah, ah. And speed. I'm gonna go with speed so I can get. And where do I want this? I think I'm gonna put them right there. And we'll end the turn. And the turn. Around we go. Around we go. And we're back to me already. So now we'll go ahead and move. And we'll go claim that encounter. I'm going to move one of these guys back over here. And move my my character to the encounter. What do we get? Uh, paid $4 to play. I might do that. Hmm. Gain two, I could just gain two popular, pay two popular, gain two combat. Ooh, that's, oh, that's, the, the popularity burn is such a, such a price. Because um, <clears throat> you really want to get to seven popularity by the end of the game. But those two combat cards, that's, that's, and three power gets me to, now well, the power is not going to be so big because I'm going to probably max that out as I go to food anyway. Um, pay four dollars is really expensive actually. Four dollars is really expensive of my seven. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna and uh, steer the cow under the mech to see what happens and uh, pay the two popularity. All right, and I can't do the bottom row action, so I'm not sure. You, you want to maximize doing your bottom row activity just as much as possible. I get that, uh, and with my with my where I can spend cards, it does make it a little bit cheaper. At this point, though, I think I am compelled. Yeah, I need to produce. Ah, oh, good. Man, there's some cards. I like it. All right, I gained the card. I right, we're gonna go ahead and produce. Confirm. Boom, boom. Now I got three ores. So next time I can I can bolster and turn. I can bolster, which put me up to twelve. That gets me up toward the top, the, the top of my defense pretty quick. That's kind of nice. So we're gonna go ahead. 
on my turn here, we're gonna bolster. Pay one, we're gonna confirm, we'll bolster. And when I but do the bottom row action here, I wanna confirm, but I wanna make sure I use one of these cards to be more efficient. And what what am I gonna do next? What am I gonna do next? I am probably going to deploy next. And we'll take that, oh look at that, we're gonna max out that, that uh, defense quickly. Except the nice Middle Eastern Indian type of music. I'd probably someone would probably yell at me for not knowing the type of music that is. Go ahead and enter turn. It sounds very Middle Eastern or Indian-ish, Indian to me. All right, what am I going to do next here? On my turn, uh, I think I can go ahead and produce again. Produce, confirm. All right, and uh, end of the turn. And let's see what we get here. We're gonna go ahead and get another mech. Confirm, and we're gonna take uh, two iron, so we can build another mech. Confirm. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm gonna go over the river, river walk, river walk. We're gonna grab the river walk mech, boom, and we'll end our turn. Now, up here you can span, you can see what you've got. I got two enlistments and I got two mechs, and I think I want to. I could move, I could move, but I, I need at least one more food before I can get my last, my last uh, two enlistments. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and produce, confirm. All right, so now I have enough food, if no one steals it, to uh, do my, all my enlistments and turn. So now I can move and I can set up shop on I can set up shop on the upgrade. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it would have been nice had my my character already but oh if I can get there well then I stay out so we won't do that for sure and so grab these guys the food and we're gonna go right here and you know I could go there it makes it a little bit harder for people to come get me just a little bit though hmm but I like having access to that uh, wood also so we're gonna stay right here and we're gonna end that move Yep. And what do I want here? Pay $2 to get any of your three resources. resources. That would be pretty nice because then I could buy that oil and I could do an upgrade this turn. So that, pay two popularity to gain one worker and three wood. Eh, I don't think so. Gain two food and one popularity. Hmm. I don't need food. Uh, but I could use that oil. So we're going to go ahead, pay $2 to gain any three resources, get the oil. Three resources, uh, I can tag that on with uh, some iron and get that mech a little bit sooner. So go ahead and pay the oil and uh, get our upgrade. Now, what do I want to make cheaper? I don't really need the bolster. Uh, moving guys is always nice. Or I could do a produce on three. Mm, that's tempting too. We got to produce on three. And then, what do we want to make cheaper? I have two mechs left. I can make that cheaper. So go ahead, let's go ahead and make that cheaper. That might be a mistake, but we'll see. And, and turn. As it comes around again, what I'm gonna do, I'm, what, oh, I, wanna, I wanna definitely use up some of that, what I got all that tasty food, tasty food, and uh, I don't want to lose it. So we're gonna, get, when we'll get our first objective, we'll get our first star here, confirm, and we'll pay the food 
one, two, three. Oh, crap. So, huh, first time, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna redo that because I wanna make sure I use a ticket. So I'm gonna click this and I'll confirm, but this time I'm gonna make sure I only use two of these and use up one of my cards because these really have no use. Come on. All right, and then we will get, what am I gonna do more of? I'm probably gonna do more of this. However, I don't really need the defense until somebody attacks me. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the coin and end my turn. Nice five coin turn. That was an icy just in time. He's got to take my stuff. Now, if we look, now we can turn off. And who, who's attacking me? Who's attacking me? Let's take a look, click here and minimize. It's white is attacking me. White is attacking me. So let's see what they're white has seven and four so they could play 12 and i could play 12. so do i dare sometimes they lie sometimes they lie but i think i don't remember what's next on my what's in the next time i'm at do i move right away or did i just move last turn i just i think no i bolstered last turn so i should be good there and then i can move right back and take what so i think we're just gonna we're just gonna spend one we're going to let him have it, and we're going to come back, and we're going to fight him next time. Take it right back. Yeah, good thing. I, I could have played the 12, but the attacker always wins ties. And I'll accept that combat card. Oh, he used my food right away. That. Oh, no, it wasn't him. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm going to get some uh, I'm gonna get some wood out of this deal, so that's kind of nice. So we're just going to move on right back. We'll move right on back. Confirm. And we're going to jump in my mech here. I'm going to run a mech, a mech, a mech. Run a mech. I'm going to go right back and take it back. And then I'm going to go claim the factory. Let's go claim the factory. All right. Combat first, it says. Combat first. And he can only play five now. That poor guy. And we're just going to spend one card and we'll fight. All right, and we took all of our stuff back and we got his wood. Not very smart. And this is, he's on a hard setting. All right, okay, now, what do I, oh, uh, so I can do an upgrade for a card. I always like doing the, I like having alternate uses, but I can be using cards as resources. So then the, uh, my second one here is, but that would make, well, I move a lot anyway. That also has a move, right? So when you do, Faction man, you always have your, your top row and your bottom row, and the bottom row is always a movement, and that movement's a fast movement, right? You move three instead of two, as long as you have the, as long as you have the mech. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with spend the military power and gain three coins. That's a lot of coin. All right, so we're gonna accept that, and uh, we did the movement, and I didn't have the oil, so we're gonna head, go ahead and end the turn. Oh, but looky there. Without even thinking about it, I did complete that. I, did you really want to end your turn? No, I don't want to end my turn. I don't want to end my turn as I do want to claim my objective. King of the Hill. All right. Uh, that was a two-star turn. Fantastic. Two-star. We're on round 16. It might be hard. So I always, in this game, I always think that if I don't win the game in like 20, between 22 and 24 rounds, I didn't really win because... In a normal board game, when I was, if I play with my buddies on the tabletop, the game almost never lasts to, I don't know, 22, past 22, 24 turns, something like that. So let's go ahead, and what am I going to do this time? I got all that. I didn't use any of that, any of my military power, so I don't need that. If I do need that last enlistment, it would be really kind of sweet. It would be really kind of sweet to uh, start building some homes. And building homes was next to next to uh, encounters, I believe. Let's take a peek. Take a peek, yeah, building houses next to encounters. So, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? I could pay one and move three, and that would probably get me another encounter somewhere. So let's see here. <clears throat> let's go ahead. If I did this, I could set myself up for two turns. So let's go ahead and trade. I'm going to trade here. I'm going to wood and an iron. 
and putting it back here because it's a little bit harder for them to get. And then I can go ahead and get a mech. I'm going to spend a card. I'll confirm. And spend a card. And then my two iron. And we are going to, before combat, steal one. Com yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we'll put it to here. And we'll end the turn. <clears throat> one mech, one enlistment left. And I'll get those two cards for sure. And then maybe a battle for my sixth one, seventh one. Oh boy, it would be nice to uh, get a little bit more, to get a little bit more oil. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna produce, produce, boom, and boom. And then we're gonna, we're gonna build that, confirm, and we're gonna build that building here and let's see what which, I think I'm gonna go with the windmill here and do I want to put it yeah I think I want to put it right uh, there and that's next to two encounters so that's kind of nice and then we'll go ahead and end the turn <clears throat> so now with that windmill we'll produce on that tile regardless of whether I have a worker in there and it counts as its own worker so now if I produce there I would get three now, the oil only costs two and I can always use a card for one of them so I think if I move this time yeah we should move this time let's see move confirm let's go ahead and move some guys here I think and it would be nice if I think over here in this wood would be a great spot as I'm next to two new encounters and uh and I'd be on wood. So let's go ahead and grab these two workers. All right, and we'll grab all this stuff too. And you know what, we're not, uh, it's fine because we're gonna use that oil. All right, we'll move over there. And then where can my, can my guy get to, ooh, boy, there's two oil just for there. For, oh, there's a cost two popularity, all right? If I go there and try to take that, it would cost me two popularity. It'd be nice to set myself up for an encounter it would be nice to set myself up for encounter. So where do I want to go? Where do I go to get the most encounters? I think if over here is a good spot, but there's also a chance that those rustiets, rotten rustiets, would come get me. All right, let's go ahead and spend the oil. One, two, and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead, and I think I'm gonna be able to move three. And I'm building houses now, so I think I'll make that cheaper. And turn. I know I said it's usually the last one I do. Uh, however, the upgrades are I like to do them, but there there's some you have to do a lot of them right before you can complete your upgrade objective. Uh, yellow attacked Rusvia. Not yellow. Who attacked him? Oh, that's spinning the table. You see, I have other games where you right click to move the map. Okay, but how did uh, somewhere they got attacked? Okay, it's my turn, my turn, and uh, uh, what am I going for? I'm going for, I want, I need two more, three more stars. I need three more stars. I need a mech still. I need my final enlistment. So let's go, uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead. I don't, I can't afford the mech. I can't afford the enlistment. I can't afford, but I don't need the start. So we're gonna go ahead. I could do the bottom row without. That way I don't lose the coin. I got plenty of cards. So I think we're just gonna do a bottom row action. It's gonna say, hey, are you sure you only wanna do the bottom row? I say, yeah, I really do. And then I can spend a card and two of these, and I get my last and last enlistment. Woohoo, here the and the crowd cheers, yay. Alright, and uh and turn. Oh, it just flashed up. I don't know if you noticed that in the lower right corner. It said some achievement was uh, achieved. So we're going to end the turn there. We're going to end the turn there. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. I have two stars left. What are my last two stars going to be? I still need another mech. We'll get that one. And we probably will do an attack. We'll probably attack someone for that last star. So let's go ahead. And uh, uh, I need, oh yeah, I can do this right here. I just go ahead and trade. It would be nice to get to that uh, level seven 
Level seven uh, popularity confirmed. All right, I need one. I need one uh, metal to do the mech, and I think I want wood here. Go ahead and get some wood and confirm. And one, two, and let's get another mech and use it. And we'll get our last mech moved from a Terry or a home base to your home base or that of another any inactive faction. And where do I want to put this? I want to put this where I have two because when I spread out it might make it better. All right. Oh, another achievement unlocked for Mechmen. All right, the, those achievements are falling and we'll end the turn. End the turn. All right, down to my last star. But you notice no one's out here wanting to get anywhere close to me. I guess I could get to Tagawa. I could have ended the turn this this round if I wanted to. It's time to spread out, and I boy, I would have liked to gotten two more hearts, two more hearts, uh, three more hearts actually. Uh, but it's early enough, and I suspect it wouldn't matter. Let's take a peek at my comp competition. All right. Okay, so we got two of all of the all of the other ones already at the seven level, and the white here is at the twelve or the third level. All right, so boy, would it be nice! But I'm gonna have enough coinage. Let's see here. What can I do? I got my max. I got my enlistments. I got one building. I haven't really utilized that that uh, windmill yet. If I produced, uh, I could produce. I can get. A building and a star. Now let's do that. Let's do that. Get two here. Get one there. And let's go ahead. And... Oh, I have one more. Oh, but I can't, right? Because uh, because I only have the two territories. Uh, and there's nowhere else I can. Can I zoom out a little bit? Oh, too far. Too far. Too far. Yeah. The... Oh, I can't build here. We'll grab that also. Just resources do give you half a point at the end of the game. So, build, confirm, spend two, use a card, and what building do I want? I really want that. Yeah, I think we're gonna do, well, I'm not gonna use that build. I might use that. I'm gonna block defense. Fine, and I want it here. Now I do have buildings next to four, and we'll end turn. So zoomed in. My face is too close to the to the monitor, perhaps. Ah, cool. All right, now I'm at seven popularity, but it is round 22, and this is where I kind of say, you know, really, if it goes much longer than this, did I really win? Uh, so on my turn, I w I'd really like to move. But you don't pair up moving and and uh, popularity, so we'd really like to get that last level of popularity. Uh, so this turn, I might spread out. I could produce. I could produce. So, oh yeah, I'm next to five. If I move, let's see here, let's move. Confirm. Let's grab him and these two guys. One, two. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't get here. I go here, we drop off a guy, drop off a guy, and then we go here. This guy, we're gonna put here, and I can move three, can I, right? Oh, I should've got the encounter. Mm. Oh well, I'm, I'm hoping to end the game here soon. So let's uh, move this guy here. So we're kind of spreading out a little bit, right? For the end game, you get points for territories you control. And so, uh, I think, do I own it? I do. I couldn't. I, I can do. That ends my move. Yes, I really do. Let's go ahead and grab an upgrade because we can confirm. And we'll spend this and a card. Spend this and a card. And what do we want? Uh, we 
want the extra heart. Yes, we want the extra heart. And we'll make that make that uh, building a little cheaper. And turn. And there's no cards left in the card pool. It's okay. I got plenty of cards to finish the game. If someone attacks me, I will probably spend all my power to try and defend myself here. Oh, is anyone else close? No, no one else is close. And turn 23. So I will probably end the game here. End the game here as I will. Once I click on that, I end the game, I believe. So... Yeah, we'll just end the game, though. Confirm. Oh, it doesn't because it didn't get the... Uh, I need one more card. Oh, man. Uh, do I want to spend the... Do I have it? I could spend two to get a coin. It, and it's kind of a wash, isn't it? Kind of a wash. I don't need to do that. Well, they can't take it. You can't, they can't steal my coins. So we're going to confirm and say yes. And so we're going to pay that and our two ore and get the coin. Uh oh, okay. So he's going to just... Uh, yes, we'll steal his card, and now we're gonna defend us, and maybe we'll win on his turn, and fight. See what happens. Did he have it all? He did. He did. All right. Well, we can come back. I will. I will uh, use my faction ability. Not faction. My extra factory card. Accept. I use my. Oh, I could move. Could move. Oh, purple. All right. So if I moved, I could spread myself out even a little bit more and get one coin. Do I? Yeah, I don't. I probably won't even get the bottom row action, though. That's okay. Spreading out gives me a point per territory. It'll be one. It'll be two extra points three points all right so it's about the same as doing the military thing anyway so we're gonna go ahead and move confirm and we'll move this guy here and uh, we're gonna move this guy he'll take the resources with him here and we're gonna move this guy here spreading them out even further right and we'll end our move Yes, and yes, we'll steal his card, player five, and fight. <clears throat> and now I guess our last objective, and so we got all six stars. We did cross over the popularity level, so that's pretty good. Did we win? Did we win? We're yellow on the Crimea on the far right. White's giving us a run for our money, but look at the end, we just blew him out. 63. 69 dudes. There we go. 80. 94. Oh, yep. Victory with Crimea. Yeah, like I said, to me, and then there's three more objectives. I think we might have got five achievements. Now, we did take, oh, yeah, we're one round 24, so that's pretty good. So we'll have to go see, we'll have to go see how many uh, achievements do we get. So let's go ahead and exit the game. And let's go ahead and exit the game. And, uh, wow, look at it. Bread and salt win a game with Agriculture Mat. All right, we did that. 16.4% of the players have this achievement. Uh, where Eagles Dare win a game with Crimean Connate. Con All right. 15%. Seize the means of production to control the factory at the end of the game. 36%. At the Udarnik at the end of the game, have the most resources under control. Okay. Nice. I got that. All right. Wow. We'll have to go back and count how many we got here. Uh, this is my land. At the end of the game, have the most tiles under control. All right. The winner takes all, 37% win a game, all right. Uh, to the victory goes, supposed to win two battles, we did that, sure. 36% of people do that. The four mechmen have all four mechs, about half people do that. In the army now, and this all your recruits, 42%. Uh, 
Uh, the challenger, complete the objective. Yeah, 48% of people do that. Speed demon, be the first person to the factory, 43%, and almost 44%. And armed to the teeth, get 16 power, 35% get that. And so if we count how many, like I said, half these, or most of these you don't, you just get and you don't even realize it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We got twelve achievements in the first playthrough. Yeah, and it was against hard, right? And we had three, three combatants at hard, but it was, in my opinion, the easiest faction of of the Crimea. So, uh, and so with that, with that, if I flip back to, and I go with my back home. So with that, I thought that was a pretty good game. Um, it didn't take too long. Looks like it took 36 minutes. So like I said, um, about 40 minutes and, and, uh, this one went pretty fast. Um, otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed that. You can see how we play that. You can see how the gameplay goes for the side game. And, uh, next time we'll see, uh, what other objectives we can get. <clears throat> Maybe we'll focus on. All right. So with that, uh, thanks for watching.